Rise obviously has New York. Um, it has some special homage to me because I am from New York. We're gonna pull these away to get out of the way. Um, so there's more I'd like to see with this, and this kind of became fun to kind of think of things from New York. Um, where do we begin on this one? Let's start at the bottom. Well, obviously, we did Haunted last time, and you learned a little bit more about that piece and how this, this was the fourth unit piece and how it's working out. If you followed the comments on yesterday's, I had lost a video of me doing the background and my darling husband, Mr. Alex, found it. And I'm going to add it to the end of this um, video. That video, Ow. which is of the spray painting, there was a recovery spot. I didn't know that. See how much I stink at this? So, oh, we have lots of lights going on over there. Shh, shh, party. Finally. So down here we have um, Mercedes. King, mm -hmm. Ellie D, <laughs> Luna Matthews, Astro. and Astro Nova. And um, Nefra and Caddy. Yeah, those are the new characters. <laughs> Nefra is there, Caddy is, I'm sure, halfway naked somewhere. <laughs> Don't I have her dress on? Her so, shoes? Um, these characters are really neat, a nice uh, new thing, new Caddy. details. We quite love them. And we, Gracie, found the dolls um, about six months beforehand, and we guessed the sizes of them to make this portion of the house. I kind of got it close, um, and some didn't work out so well at all because I forgot to take into effect the heel on their shoe giving them height, their hair, and their head accessories. So some of them don't quite fit so well. And my friend Katie <laughs> has LED now. Looking inside here, Mercedes, who's got a shorter area, um, so she can fit as good. She actually balances with her little crown. Love, love, love her sparkly skin. Um, well, I think all of them have sparkly skin. Yeah, yeah, probably, but hers is like, oh, I can't think of the word right now. The sparkliest? Yeah. Besides that's the It's kind of like that Easter grass that um, has that color. Anyway, going with the, her theme... Um, or the theme of the whole house having their personalized initial is her M. Gracie painted that in her own interpretation of the colors that we could see all online. She's beautiful. Kind of did them with a the HOA kind of thing. So they all have matching chairs and little side tables. Uh, the chairs I did different diamonds. Let me get the focus in there better. Different diamond colors for their chairs. The little tables are cute. They are um, one twelfth. I don't know what the tables they would be, but anyway, we got a good price for four. There's another one of those Tans Craft metal things. That was easy to paint for next to nothing. As you can see, the wax is that wonderfully strong. I'd like to see something added later. There will be more work done on this. So I'm counting this, I think in our count for 40 plus, we counted this as four rooms. Today we're gonna just count it as one, but there will be more added to these rooms. Um, to personalize them so I'm gonna feel fair in calling them separate rooms but such as details I do want to put something on the shelf I'll come up with that I kind of have a vision of some wind chimes or some cat feet or bird feeders maybe a cat would be kind of cute in the meantime in the beginning we got birds 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 because you would have some birds in New York right on your balcony those are cockatoos didn't want to put real water in there and just put puppy paint. Doesn't look the best, but oh well. The back things are just printed doors. I guess I should take her out and show that. Okay. Grace is not feeling too good today, so she's a little quiet. <clears throat> um, you can see it's a printout of a door. They're slightly not scale because my printer would only go so far down the bottom of the page. To give that a little life, just put a little bit of puffy paint here. So that's actually textured, gives it some dimension, and then the trim was put on um, to give it more life as well. Uh, otherwise, pretty plain, a little bit of puffy paint on the top to make it look like a thread, or the bottom, sorry, the bottom to make it look like a threshold. 
consistent is that railing a cute little flower bed there um, this one I actually oh there's another little mouse over there right. we need the little flower pots for everyone matching I want to see some more flower maybe some ones here but I'm not sure about there because that might cover up their dress those were bought from Michaels a little four pack little um, flower pots that I brought Gracie bought with her own money which is pretty cool so we'll move up oh did you know Dustin's up here <laughs> yeah I put him up here right now because of Twyla oh so this is oh. LED she's looking spiffy in there I'll just leave her in there you can see she just barely makes it and yep. Katie has her now too oh look at that glint happening on her dress how gorgeous is that Holy. she's got another cockatoo that was a another Barbie um, bird cage and going with the different bird themes her door she's got her little table which has got an iPad and her little purple That's drink iPad. yeah and it works for her so we'll have more on that she's got her E I love what Gracie did to that one I have no idea why I glue gun those on instead of waxing Luna Moths, Luna Matthews, um, is way too tall between that headpiece, so she sits, which is a really big bummer because she's so gorgeous and her dress is not showing off. Got her L over there, of course she's got her flower. She's got a video on Master Nova and um, Luna's a drag. She, uh, well I'd have to do some work to do that, but maybe. Here is, she's having a little martini we got more room to put stuff in her we don't have the parental references for learning on these and reporting that so I'm hoping to do that later she's got a parrot and a butterfly and like I said this one's all pretty consistent Astronova of course is a little special we got some Statue of Liberty stuff there is some little stairs right there that lead to that area. So now for to try to steal the crystal that Torla, that Torla needs to throw in the river. You obviously know more of the story than I do. <laughs> let me stand up. Oh, she's got her flowers. She's got more flowers just because. Yeah, Maybe a little view in the top. stairs for the little walkway going over into the Bloom and Bloom garden terrace area. There, there, that there, was a... There, 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 there. That was a Tans craft. More flowers. Those I just put a whole bunch of flowers around me and go to town and see what fits. Oh. Hers has got the bird house, which is quite cute. That came from another set from TK Trading. It was like a garden set. And um, it was all white. And the birds were just one color. Definitely added some more. That's where that primer came in handy for her to paint up here and the rest was just detailed with a sharpie she's got her a which is gorgeous and her parental reference is the comet so that works out well I wanted to show you the lights a little thing that worked out handy with that can you turn them off for a minute grace we're lucky that we have one of those plugs that is attached to the switch so when you turn it off it all goes on Whenever you see the yellow, it looks kind of yucky, but that's the um, glow-in-the-dark paint. So that actually leaves us something to look at when it goes off. <laughs> the light holes are just a hole drilled in with the Christmas light when you go this way. Sticking out. Not quite beautiful, but it works. Went with yellow to give it an outdoor mosquito thing. And what I did was I sanded. You can see in that video in the last one, I'm, I sanded them all so they'd be smooth. And I didn't want it to look like wood and be all raw. So I painted in there. Then I took a punch from scrapbooking material in different shapes depending on which room I was doing. These ones I happened to use a square, turned it sideways for a diamond. Punched it in some paper and I made my own little stencils. So all of those were quite <coughs> consistent. Stenciled it with paint and then went over it with any color puppy paint. This one I gave a little extra since it was an exterior light. So it's got a little bit more happening there. Um, this is all waxed in. She's got a little fan. Fun stuff like that. This one, this unit, I actually did a lot on my own. Alex had done so much and I wanted to challenge myself to do a little more. Obviously this is all together and in my drawings I really had to think 
in three dimension to get this look so it looks separate. In the future, I am hoping to paint the backs of the walls in a sky color so it kind of blends in better. Going high up, you then hit the shelves that were here first. Um, this was all pre-made pieces. I didn't cut any of these. This, this, and these were all those same things I told you about. Just a matter of doing some math. Hitting in nails on the side to get all that in. I was quite proud of myself for doing this because I am not patient when it comes to measuring. I did this later because we waited to see if that um, floating apparatus would work. And it, I didn't think it would be. It would be too high. I didn't think it would fit and it didn't. So we added this later. This is actually all waxed in, which worked out just fine. Not a lot more to say about this one too much. It's cute. It was a nice add-in that would have been just the wall. Super happy with it. I'd like to see some more um, New York references, an apple, um, some apple. pigeons, oh. and of course the, well, the big apple. It's an adult thing. Um, Gracie would like to show you. Let's put her thing back. Your left hammer part. Um, yeah. This one was fun. It, it actually went quite quickly once it got a roll on it. And maybe we'll update it when we add, if we add any to that. I don't see that happening anytime soon. Definitely wanna gonna look forward to the end of that. We're hoping for the three pack we can get it, but I just don't want to get it. I've seen them in the stores tons. Oh, you want to turn the lights back on, baby? <clears throat> But they're, um, I just got nowhere to put them, so I don't want them sitting around. I'm not too happy that their makeup's not really different. Mercedes' face is not quite as sparkly, so we're gonna wait on that. Gracie wants to show you this. Come here. Come here. I can't have a date. Astra have a date. is, where is Astra? Oh, there she is. She's pretty cool. She's, Dang oh, it. oh, that went fast. Oh, okay. The levitation. I'm thing. trying to make her levitate. You're not I using the tire? Oh, that is the coolest. Oh, it's like a challenge to do. You can see do, she's... Do, 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 and when you sit her down, she uh, tends to flop over to the side. Her shoes are a little mushy, too. Can, can I so, me, please? Let me. We had some please. shout outs. One was to Monster High Geek, because you were first to say first on the last video. <laughs> that made me laugh. And um, can you put the lights back on for the ending? And I want to do a surprise shout out. So, Thank you so much. Um, yeah, that was a shout out. I just can't keep my brain organized. Shout out to Monster High Geek for being the first to say first, even though there was other people who were first and those two people just happened to have gotten shout outs in the last one anyway. So thank you for jumping in. That really gave me a giggle. And I want to give a surprise. Yeah, I want to give another shout out to Tarzana. And a video or two ago, she um, put a really sweet thing about my health because I hadn't been feeling good. Got an x-ray today, so they're going to compare my lungs and make sure everything's okay. That wasn't the surprise. And the surprise is a shout out to Cybernova because of Astro. Oh, yes. You've been waiting so long. Because loves... Cybernova loves space. Yeah, so there you go. Cybernova and Chad Allen. Gamer Chad, right? <laughs> And yeah, Radio JH yeah. games. <laughs> That's really, really neat. That's fun. Um, I think next we are going to do... Is there anything more to say? Not really. It's pretty simple. It needs more details. But looks like you can actually control Definitely a good right use of space. It really looks like a shoe rack, doesn't it? Or a bookshelf. Next we are going to do the remainder of the courtyard. Which has a swim class. That's cool. We'll talk about the front door. And Astronova again, maybe. And uh, that haunted. Always looking Dang good. It. And then we'll probably, I jumped on this unit for a Samuel hair. I don't know why. He just made me laugh one day and I've not wanted to forget that. We're going to probably go back over to this um, second tall one, which is the third unit. The bedrooms get more into that personal stuff. Um, that's it. Put a couple pictures, but I think the last video really showed a lot of the, video, uh, the pictures that kind of pertain to this as well.
Hey, Mom, Eric can make it light up, too. Here she's having fun. So, thank you for sharing, because, wow, you are really doing a number on our subscribers. They have jumped up, and we are thank you, very, very thankful. Have a oh. wonderful night. Subscribe. And we share. reached over 2,000. I mean, 200,000 views on the big video. Yeah, we're pretty excited. Did we even yes. say that? If no. this is your first time watching the videos, um, check the link below. There will be a link for the video of the entire house. Which goes all the way that way. Hey, Mom, I just noticed this. I, I hope you. I'm not moving too fast. It goes all the way that way. Have a good night. Thank you very much. I'm leaving my fucking. Done. <laughs> <laughs>